Greetings. What business have you? Sir, I met the parish priest of Ujit, and I must say he's a very interesting man. I should say so. Have you ever seen him at swordplay? Not bad for a man of the cloth, is he? Rumor has it, when he finished his studies at the university where his father sent him, he decided the religious life wasn't for him, and vanished to foreign parts. They say he made a living as a mercenary. I even heard he fought against the Turk at the Battle of Kosovo, and then he suddenly came back and settled down here. No doubt it cost his family plenty, but he's a fair man and I'm fond of him. There's a lot to be said for a priest with a good understanding of vice. Henry! Just the man I want to see. I need help with something. What's the problem, sir? The Archbishop's vicar has come to Ujits. I don't know why exactly, but the rumor is that he's on the hunt for heretics, which frankly never meant any good, especially for me. I'm sorry, but I'm not really up on religious ranks, sir. What does a vicar do, exactly? You don't have to apologize. It's the devil's own work to make sense of their twisted hierarchy. The vicar is short for vicarious, meaning in place of. He has full power to act on his superior's behalf. I see. In this case, sadly, the superior in question is that nincompoop, Archbishop Zbigniew Hare of Hassenburg. What should I do about him, then? Firstly, find out why he's really here. He might truly be on the hunt for heretics, which wouldn't be good news. Or it's equally possible he's here to size up my estate, which would be even worse. I understand. And then what? The best thing for me and all concerned would be for him to pack his bags and go back to Prague. And how can I, um, encourage him to do that? I can't just kick him out, can I? No, of course not. But if you can make him believe there's nothing to find here, he'll be off in no time. So tell him I've sent you to assist him. I understand. And my task is to assist him in finding nothing. Indeed. And what if there really are heretics? My boy, my boy. Have you ever seen a heretic? No. There, you see. I haven't either. Most of the time the prelates just invent them to scare folk with. So don't put much faith in their existence. But... But what if there really are some? Then deal with them. But make sure that interfering bastard gets out of here. Are you at odds with the Archbishop in some way, sir? No, I've never even seen him. But that's no guarantee he doesn't have his eye on my estate. But how could he get his hands on it? He's an Archbishop. They have long fingers, my boy. And now, without the king around, it's the perfect time to amass a nice little horde. Believe me, I know. They say in Prague that he's a complete dolt. But I rather doubt that. Why? All the Hare clan are as shrewd as they come. I know that better than most. Uh-huh. Very well. I'll get going straight away. Good luck, lad, and be careful. Clergymen are wily weasels, so take care. I'll be careful. Don't worry, Sir Hannes. See you later. Huh? Yeah.
What are you doing here? Why do you ask? Can I not take a walk in the woods without being accosted? I ask because I'm the gamekeeper here, and it's my job to protect these woods from poachers. Well, I'm certainly not poaching. In that case, you won't mind if I have a look what you've got on you. Certainly. Go ahead and look. Mm. All right. Nothing suspicious here. You may leave, Goodman. Learn how to ride a horse. Yeah!
Hey! Mm. What do you want here, lad? God save, Monsieur. My name's Henry, and I've been sent by Sir Hanish of Lipa. Sir Hanish, hmm. And why is he sending you? I'm to assist you in your search. Oh, I see. How considerate of him. Well, you've come at the right time. I need someone who'll go unnoticed among the locals. I'm sure Sir Hanish told you what I'm doing here. He said you're looking for heretics? Exactly. I'm seeking out the sores that inflict the body of the church. The rash of heretics. Valdensians. Dangerous heretics, one and all. Well, I'm not from Ujits exactly, so I don't know how well they'll accept me. That's good, because the last thing I need is one of these local good-for-nothings. I can't trust a single one of them. And they don't trust me either, but you're an ordinary lad with a likable face. If a bit simple-looking, you'll have a much better chance of learning their secrets. You flatter me, Monsignor. Very well, then. Are there any suspects? Everyone is a suspect. You can be sure of that. But I'll know more after I finish the interrogations. How did you conclude there are heretics here? We caught one in Gutenberg. He confessed to everything, including meeting up with others in Ujitz a few times. And that was all he told you? By the end, all his strength had left him, so he couldn't even put together a list. But that doesn't necessarily mean any of them are from Ujits. Maybe they just meet here. That is indeed possible. But I want certainty, not con- How can I help you then? Excellent. Let's get right to the point, Henry. I know how to get to where the heretics congregate. And what's stopping you from going there, sir? That is to say, I know in theory. The crux of the matter is this. We caught a heretic in Kutenberg who told us of the heretics in Ushitz. Regrettably, by the time he got around to describing their meeting place, he was already raving and hardly coherent. I see. So do you know where they meet up, or don't you? Possibly. His account was confused, to say the least. I have a record somewhere here. Can you read, boy? Naturally, father. Otherwise, Sahanis wouldn't have sent me. I see. It's a good thing at least the servants of the nobility are getting a suitable education. Some of their own offspring can hardly write their own names. Here's the record of the interrogation. From what I can make out, his description of the route starts at the local tavern. Once you've found something out, come back and see me. I'll do my best, Father. I'll get working on it, sir. 
God be with you, my son. Yeah. Yeah! Sakra, it's hellishly deep here. Yeah.
Yeah. Seems I found it. A cross, nicely carved. Hmm. Someone in the village might recognize it. Yeah. Yeah. What the hell was that? Well, I never. Be off now. You don't belong here. God be with you. Father, I wonder if you could tell me whose cross this is. Hmm. I do know, but I'm not sure I can tell you. I don't understand. Why not? People said they saw you talking with a vicar. They're afraid that Sir Hanu sent you here to help him. Well, that is basically true. Jesus Christ, Hal, are you insane? Sir Hannes sent me to find out what he wants. Well, then we share the same interest. But I'd still prefer it to end with nobody burned at the stake. You and me both. That's good to hear. Where did you find the cross? Let's do a deal. I'll tell you where I found it, and you tell me whose it is. Very well. Tell me. I found it in the woods. It looked like people met there. There were other things, candles, a cloth, and so on. Damn it. That really does seem like... That the vicar is right to be looking here. It surprised me, too. So whose is it? The cross is definitely the Bowers. I remember that. But that just can't be. I can't believe it. If they really are heretics, though... What do you want to do? I don't know. But I'll do anything in my power to prevent a heretic witch hunt taking hold here. I see. It wouldn't make Sir Hanish too happy either. My thoughts exactly. But the question still remains what to do about it. The vicar won't give up till he's found what he wants. You know what, boy? Before we do anything else, we ought to make sure whether there really are heretics here. What do you propose? That's simple. Listen to how they say their prayers. What could that do us? Prayers are sacred to all Christians, heretic or devotee. But if they are heretics, 
They are bound to pray differently. That makes sense. But how can I listen to their private prayers? I don't suppose they'll be praying that way in the church. Certainly not. In the church they'd pray the usual way. But at home it's a different matter entirely. I know they meet at the farm in the evening with all the domestics. They'll surely be praying then. All right. But how can I listen in? I don't know. Crouch beneath the window? Climb up in the loft? That way you'll be sure to hear everything said in the main room. What do you know about the Bowers? When I think about it now, they're a little peculiar. What do you mean? Well, they do rather keep themselves to themselves, but on the other hand, they give more alms to the needy in the village than anyone. Where did those Bower folk come from? I don't really know. Hmm. And the cross? No. It belonged to the family who lived on the farm before them. Right, I'll get on with it. May the Lord watch over you. Yeah! 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 Ah, I could try listening from here.
and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Bless us, O Lord, and these thy gifts which we are bound to receive from thy bounty. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 They, they took old Vensel to the Presbytery. His farm is nearby. It's only a matter of time before... Before they come for me. I know. And what are we going to do about it? That vicar is baying for blood, the beast. You will devour I do not intend alive. to do anything about it. I shall not waver from my faith, nor turn my back my on it. What on earth are you saying? If they come for me, I will go quietly. And I will not lie. Are you serious? Don't you know what they'll do to you? I can well imagine. But I am resolved. The Lord have mercy. Do not fear. I surrender to God's will. And I do not condemn you if you decide to leave. I'll stay by your side. Although I'd rather that you decided otherwise. I know. And you have no fear, my brothers in Christ. Stay true to God's plan as I shall. Go and spread the true faith amongst all good folk. I'm sorry, I wish there was another way. You should eat your supper and depart right away. Who knows, you may come for us at dawn. Yeah. Jesus Christ be praised. So, I went to check on the Bower farm, and I don't have good news. Do tell. They most certainly are heretics. At least as far as I can tell. Are you sure? What did you hear? They're afraid the vicar will be coming after them. Who wouldn't fear that? That swine finds fault with everyone. 
Confess what exactly? Most likely her faith. The people of the farm were trying to discourage that, but her mind's made up. Oh, good lord, that's all I need. What am I to do? I don't know, but we have to help them. You're quite right. You have to talk them out of it, Hal. You must convince them to run. Convince them? That's easy for you to say. You haven't heard her talk. Sure you'll find a way. You have to try at least. For their own good and for yours, Hal. You're right. Someone has to help them. I'm glad you see it that way. Now hurry. You never know when the vicar might come for them. See you later. Yeah. God grant you health. Mistress Bower? What is it you need? I've come to ask something of you. Have you? And just who are you, young man? That doesn't matter. The important thing is that I want to help you and your husband. I admit that I'm a little confused. You've come to ask me something, but at the same time you want to help me. What's going on? I want to ask you not to confess to the vicar. Just take your husband and get out of here while there's still time. I have no idea why you're so taken with my fate, or how you found out about my intentions. But I'll tell you one thing. 
Changing my mind is out of the question. I won't betray my faith, nor my brothers in Christ. But now you've got a chance to escape. Surely you won't throw it away. I won't oppose God's will for me. For heaven's sake, woman, if it were God's will you should burn, it would have happened a long time ago. You can't know that. And don't you think the investigation is dragging on a bit? Do you think nobody in the village speaks badly of you? Don't fool yourself. Those old people from the farm who keep to themselves, they're ripe for denouncing, aren't they? And yet nobody's come to arrest you so far. It may just be that God is giving you time to get away. You may be right, but I can't lie. It's against all my teaching. You won't have to lie if you're never asked any questions. Just leave. You can preach elsewhere. I'm sure you have lots of friends who'd love to take you in. But I don't want to run. No one wants to run away, but sometimes we have no choice. If you run, your faith will live on. That must mean something. You're right. I shouldn't give in so easily. I've just grown so weary of the endless persecution. You should pack up and run away as soon as you can. The vicar might get here any minute. Thank you. Don't delay. Yeah. Yeah. Good health to you. I found them, Monsignor. Pardon me? I found the heretics. Really? And who are they? The Bauer family and their entire household. Hmm. Well, I expect you to give me some evidence. In the last few days, I've been hearing how practically everyone here is a heretic. I found that place the captive heretic talked about, and I found a family cross there. It took a bit of asking around, but I learned it belongs to the Bowers. Their farm isn't far from here, to the north. And then all I had to do was go there and do a little spying. What of it? What did you hear? 
Nothing at all. The farm was deserted. Not a living soul anywhere. Ha! They fled. So they are heretics. What will you do, my It's not the first time the Devil's Spawn has fled from me. I'll do the same as always. Track them down and capture them. Don't worry. They won't get far. <clears throat> Thank you for your help. You may leave. God be with you. Yeah. 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 I'm weak at the knees.
I'll let you go, but the weapon stays here. Mert! Oh, Sakura. He's run off again. Yeah. What's going on there? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. 